when you look in the mirror does the picture get clearer tomorrow coming nearer does the fear grow bigger life in the inner city is hard for those growing up there choices seem few and far between without love and direction these youth find it increasingly hard to succeed or to even survive for those who do not finish high school the future is even more difficult as most jobs require a minimum of a high school diploma or GED. Statistics reveal that at-risk students who do not graduate from high school have significantly reduced earning and employment prospects, are five times more likely to receive public assistance, and have a 75 to 90 percent chance of being incarcerated by age 25. One organization that is responding to the needs of these youth is the Winston-Salem Street School. Founded in 2004, the Street School's mission is to transform hurting and disenfranchised members of Winston-Salem's inner city into productive citizens through education. One of the reoccurring themes and common denominators that we see over and over again from the studies that are done is that the education piece, specifically the diploma, is the most important factor in reducing crime, reducing someone's uh, involvement in the judicial system, uh, reducing someone's dependence on the government for assistance and for their livelihood. What we try to do is catch these kids that fall through the cracks, that don't have a lot of support, and give them the ancillary support that's necessary in order for them to continue their education. The Winston-Salem Street School is a secondary school that serves approximately 40 at-risk youth by helping them earn the credits necessary to receive their high school diploma. The school is recognized by the North Carolina Division of Non-Public Education and the curriculum is accepted by the state's Department of Public Instruction. The campus is small, intentionally limited in size to provide a family environment that encourages the formation of strong relationships between staff and students. These kids are my heroes. I come and if they can make it, the, if they can make it to, to the classroom and have a good attitude about it, I mean, it's really amazing. They come from a lot of different situations than what I came from. Primarily, I had both parents. They don't have both parents. A lot of them are struggling with emotional problems. They can't focus on their academics. They wonder why it's important. They really, honestly, want to be successful in life. They just don't have the complete support that they need. Adults label them certain things, and granted, they may have done things to earn certain labels, but when they come here, they could be new people. Students who come to the street school are typically between 14 and 18 years old and are there for a variety of reasons. Trouble with the law, substance abuse, teenage pregnancy, abandonment, and difficult home situations are common reasons why students come here. Regardless of the circumstances, they need a place to belong and to be challenged. A lot of these kids on the street look towards the gangs and towards um, groups in particular that facilitate crime just because they want to belong. And the street schools give them a reason to belong to a positive thing. Here at the Winston-Salem Street School, most students arrive and primarily they're very disheartened with their academic process. Here we're able to provide for them very small class size with about a one to five or one to seven teacher to student ratio. Here we're able to instill hope toward them not only to being able to become a successful student but being able to become a successful person. I have a daughter and she's two and uh, she's my motivation every day I see her. It makes me want to make my life better. So I heard about this tree school from a social worker because public school wasn't working for me. So I decided to come to the street school and it's been a real good learning experience for me. My plans are after I graduate from street school, I want to go to Winston-Salem State University where I want to do nursing because I heard that they have a very good nursing program there. What brought me here to the street school was um, I got expelled from regular school, public school in Salem Side County. Here, I mean, every teacher encourages the students to do the right thing. They um, do, do everything in their 
ability to encourage you to, you know what I mean, in, with your social life, your school life, your home life, work life, if you have a job, you know what I mean, they will encourage you to get jobs, so it, you know what I mean, so you can prepare for being a young adult. To combat the street mentality, the street school provides a holistic approach toward each student's education based on four principles. First, students are given the opportunity to develop spiritually by attending chapels, Bible classes, and through faculty modeling. The primary focus of each of these is to instill within students a moral code which they can live by. Secondly, students are challenged academically, gaining skills and valuable talents through education. In doing so, students learn that they can contribute to society. Third, the school helps students grow socially by emphasizing positive character traits. For example, students learn that there is value in finishing school, reliability in telling the truth and following through, respect, safety, and peace in caring for one another, and joy in accomplishment. I have seen children who have otherwise, we've held out little or no hope for, just bloom and become um, self-confident and mature socially and achieve academic success uh, all through the hard work of the street school and the faculty and the leadership at the street school. So I can do nothing but be thankful for all they offer us and all they offer this community. The fourth important principle of the street school is to help students explore careers through job shadowing, workplace skills training, personality inventories, and career interest tests. These tools help students think about potential job opportunities and the steps they must take to prepare for a job or pursue additional education. Well, in street school, those, they told us to um, be ourselves. That was one thing that um, they tried to tell us the best. I think I'll never, like, gonna forget the experience of going to street school because it taught so many things in so many different ways. As a private nonprofit, the Winston-Salem Street School partners with various local agencies. The Winston-Salem Forsyth County Public School System and the Children's Home are two sources of student referrals. As our children transition in or transition out, the street school is able to work with them. We have many kids that are leaving the children's home, going out into the community, and the street school is willing to stick with them uh, throughout their academic and behavioral needs for the long term and provide them the kind of personal care that a kid really needs if they're going to be successful in school after years of, of not succeeding. The school is also a member of the National Association of Street Schools, an organization formed to help other communities replicate the street school model and provide needed support and resources in order for them to develop and succeed. With approximately 50 member schools spread across the country, the National Association is proud to be a part of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Alternative High School Initiative. The work of the street school is now more important than ever. The state now estimates that it costs taxpayers $90,000 to $100,000 to incarcerate one juvenile. With high dropout rates among teenagers, increasing gang activity, poverty, and teenage pregnancy, today's youth need our help. So please, take the time to get involved, whether through financial support or volunteering to tutor or mentor you. Today's youth are tomorrow's future. The Winston-Salem Street School, a road to hope for at-risk youth. Never do my rest, never do my yes, baby.